Hey guys, we're going on back again with another Warzone video. As you can see on the screen, uh, a few minutes ago, a little bit under an hour, Call of Duty tweeted out the new map that's coming to Warzone. It's something that they were doing, I think, believe, uh, I believe starting yesterday. They ended up tweeting out uh, in DMs uh, these pictures or parts of it to random, not really random, but to the big uh, content creators, the Warzone streamers and stuff like that. Uh, so I want to kind of go over it. First things first. Uh, it's probably just a coincidence, but my first initial thoughts, and this is literally me seeing it for the first time, it obviously looks like a skull, so it's probably going to be like a play on maybe Skull Island or something like that. Uh, I don't think they're going to do anything else with the King Kong and Godzilla uh, storyline. I think that was a one-shot deal, but obviously you can see it looks like a skull. That's the back of the skull. That's the mouth. That's the only thing that comes to mind really quickly. I'm not trying to say that a whole new storyline that's coming or has an Easter egg or, or it is an, any type of solve or anything like that. But it's just some initial thoughts. Again, I'm going to go through what they sent out. You can see through the um, collection of tweets from today that uh, the content creators, the uh, Call of Duty streamers, Warzone streamers, uh, got pieces of it sent to them. Some of them even got it on a cake. Uh, throughout the day today so you can see uh, these are the zoomed in pieces that they sent and then people went and pieced it together in Photoshop or whatever and it looks pretty cool uh, let me just kind of stick with the big final photo I'm not really gonna deal too much with the zoomed in stuff uh, but this is the cake uh, that they sent I don't really want to click on it because it might have like music or something like that in it uh, but if you want to check out their Twitter, and that's the other thing that I mentioned, I usually do this for the people that aren't on Twitter because none of this happened on YouTube. Uh, unless you subscribe to some of the content creators, maybe they made like a short of it or made a, a small little video showing what was sent out today. Again, this is the final one. So I'm going to go over the location. It says Keep, Terrace, Graveyard, Town, Overlook, Grotto, Smuggler's Cove, Lighthouse, Camp, Winery, and Bay. Uh, which is all pretty cool. I wonder how small it is. The only thing that I noticed compared to Rebirth, which is the first uh, initial thought, is there's no center prison, obviously. So this is going to deal more with, I guess, people landing on the outside. Uh, unless down the road something's going to happen in the middle, maybe they're living, leaving the middle open for something. Maybe the middle goes underground. Uh, would be kind of cool, kind of like a buried or something like that, because it is called Smuggler's Cove. And you think about maybe, um, you know, a mine shaft or anything like that. So maybe this goes deep on the ground somehow. Uh, I don't, I'm kind of curious as how big it is uh, of an island compared to maybe Alcatraz and Rebirth. Again, uh, a few things that I wished for years and maybe months ago, ever since probably Modern Warfare, is I really like the way they did it in Blackout, in Black Ops 4 Blackout, where the, the map evolved. Uh, every update, uh, it was like broken and more zombie stuff uh, was in the Black Ops version of it in Black Ops 4. So um, that's the only thing I'm hoping for. But a lot of people have mentioned like who knows how much effort they're really going to put into this because of the new uh, bigger Warzone 2 that's coming. So I'm very interested to see if it's something they're going to keep with it, update it, have a lot of story and background and stuff like that. Again, um, the unfortunate thing, and I hate to be the one that always says it, and I get in trouble for saying it, uh, zombie YouTubers are super toxic. I wish for them to have zombies in there, but that's just going to inv invite probably about 10 really super toxic zombie YouTubers that uh, are not good at black um, BRs, Battle Royale. Uh, they're not good at even zombies. They're just going to complain about everything. They can't get a win in BR or Warzone, so those are the only things that come to mind is, again, I wish for it to have zombies, or so some zombies backstory and some zombies lore, maybe in for the um, Warzone Halloween event would be really cool to get some of that stuff, but it's unfortunate that they would literally have to probably block them on social media, but the zombie YouTubers, the bigger channels... Um, like the top 10 big channels or top 5 big channels are all super toxic. So as soon as you add zombies to this, they're just going to you know, put a whole bunch of hate videos out there because they're super bad and awful 
that uh, Battle Royale. They're terrible at zombies. They haven't even touched Vanguard because Vanguard has no wonder weapons. The zombies are too difficult for them and stuff like that. So uh, this would be really interesting. The only thing I want to touch on real quickly is the. Uh, I wish this was like a Stephen King, The Overlook. But again, like I tell people, I don't work for um, Call of Duty. And, you know, there's probably intellectual properties and stuff like that. But it would be really cool to get some Stephen King, The Overlook, Shining stuff in there. Uh, unless it's a gigantic map and the hotel looks really small in this photo. But I would have loved for it to um, have maybe some Shining. That's what I think about. I started thinking like maybe there were like Stephen King locations. Uh, like Cemetery from Pet Cemetery, uh, The Overlook for, you know, The Shining and stuff like that. Maybe the town in um, The Mist would be really cool if they had some, like, Stephen King references, backstory uh, throughout the seasons that are coming. Unless I Google it and find there's a Stephen King winery or keep or something like that. Uh, this also kind of feels like um, Lovecraft type stuff because I think the word keep is big in, in Lovecraft stuff. Graveyards, obviously, in Lovecraft. Uh, but we'll have to see. It. And again, I just want to kind of point it out. It looks like a skull to me. Uh, that's pretty much it. Again, it was sent out to content creators uh, today. There might be new stuff that's coming, maybe a trailer, so I'm going to keep an, an eye out for that. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys there.